what are we looking at here? All right, what we are looking at in particular is the effects of strawberry tree honey on tumor cells. In this case, human colon adenocarcinomas in regard to dosage. All right, so for example, on the far side, you see zero. And as you get closer, you see the dosage concentration increasing. And there is the impact it has on inhibiting cell proliferation of this particular line of human colon adenocarcinoma cells, which is pretty fascinating. Often we think of honey, we think of honey being generalized, but obviously different honeys basically derived from certain plant species tends to have uh, sometimes dramatically different effects. For example, Manuka honey. But in this case, we're not talking Manuka, we're talking strawberry tree honey. Also, before I proceed, the study was done on plates. For example, as you see here, it has not been done in a living organism. So we're not gonna be looking at dosages or times per se. We're just looking at the promise of strawberry tree honey. So, with that in mind, let us proceed with the research as follows. Strawberry tree honey inhibits cell proliferation in colon cancer lines. Spanish and Italian researchers have proven that when honey from strawberry trees, a product typical in Mediterranean areas, is added to colon cancer cells grown in the laboratory, cell proliferation is stopped. And of course, the authors here, they would like to see the study carried out based upon this preliminary knowledge in living organisms, hence in vivo. In vitro, plates, test tubes, in vivo, living organisms, animals, humans. To proceed, functional foods show that strawberry tree honey is capable of inhibiting the proliferation of tumor cells cultivated in laboratory plates, as shown prior, more specifically those of a line of human colon adenocarcinoma and another with metastatic, metastasis or metastatic, characteristics widely used to investigate this type of tumor. Treatment with honey, quoting, stops the tumor cells cycle by regulating some genes. It inhibits cell migration, reduces the ability to form colonies, and induces apoptosis or programmed cell death through the modulation of other key genes in various apotopic factors, quoting the research. It also suppresses the receptor of the epidermal growth factor and its signaling pathways, which can be an attractive target in cancer therapies because of its important role in the process of cell survival and proliferation, as well as in those of apoptosis, apoptosis, not apoptosis, apoptosis, and metastasis. The cytotoxicity and anti-tumor effect of strawberry tree in relation to colon cancer lines increased with the amount of time and treatment, I meaning dosage, the longer it's been exposed, the greater the impact on inhibiting cell proliferation, and at least in regard to the tumor cell lines that are presented in this particular study. Now, this is the part I always find fascinating about functional foods. It's selectivity in basically targeting harmful cells and while leaving normal cells alone are healthy cells. Like for example, would strawberry tree honey inhibit healthy human cells, as well as the cancer cells. With that in mind, let us proceed. None of these effects, none of these effects, according to the researchers, was observed when honey was applied to healthy cell lines. The authors point out, noted that the anti-carcinogenic potential is natural product, but insisting on the need for new studies. With colon cancer in vivo models, living organisms, human trials, to confirm its chemopreventive effects. To conclude uh, with further quotations, with these data, it is not yet possible to speak of a cure or a safe prevention of colorectal cancer thanks to strawberry tree honey. This work constitutes a starting point in the effort to evaluate its possible biological and anti-cancer effects and indicates that the main molecular mechanisms through which it exerts its effect, reinforcing the interest in the study and production of this Mediterranean food stuff. It is one more piece of evidence that a healthy, balanced, and natural diet can provide bioactive compounds with possible interesting effects on the control and development of diseases as this type of cancer, which is fascinating because you're looking at a functional food stuff. 
So if someone had a predisposition, before I proceed and not the one I have publisher bias, if someone had a predisposition genetically to colon cancer, then if human trials or future trials validate, adding the addition of strawberry tree honey may be a very, very powerful ally in securing an individual's health. Again, fascinating information done on plates to start, has to be carried out into human models or animal models, but now is a start. We have something to work with, or the researchers I should say, and it looks extremely promising, or I should say a promising future for strawberry tree honey, and hopefully that equates to a promising future for those suffering particular ailments which this honey can possibly help. Again, I hope you find this information of use. DUI citation will be there. Links will be on the YouTube channel so you can follow links to the particular studies so you can uh, look at the research on your own. And as always, thank you very much for listening. I look forward to seeing you all once again in seven days. Catch you next time. See you then. Bye.